Hello YouTube, this is a Satsu 5. This is my um, level 3A um, um, body armor from Premier Body Armor. This goes in a backpack, and I don't use this backpack very often. So I thought, well, since I got some new armor for a different uh, concept, uh, I would uh, try stab and, uh, a stabbing test on this. This is level 3A, and it's also supposed to be rated for slash and stabs. And um, I'm, I have no doubt they'll protect against slashes, but let's see how it does with stabs. So this is level 3A. I'm gonna try to keep uh, most of my stabs on the lower um, half. And um, the knives that I have, and what we're gonna start off with is an ice pick. It's kind of more standard. Uh, even though most people don't carry ice picks, some people do, but that'll be like, okay, that's the pointy, pointy thing that people think about when they think of pointy things. So we're gonna try it. We got the Cold Steel Tie Light. Uh, this one has serrations on it that my brother put on it. And um, that's gonna be our stiletto. And then, um, you know, we could go forever with different knives, but I figure we'll do the Battle of the Tantos, the Americanized Tanto Cold Steel uh, Master Tanto. I think this is the um, Tanto 2. I th this has two lines on it. And this is the Americanized Tanto in 3V. Then we got a more traditional Tanto. This is the James Williams Columbia Vertical Knife and Tool HZ6. You wanna see which one of these do better. So, um, we're gonna start off with our pointy tool. And I also wanna point out that this is worst case scenario. I'm doing a hammer fist stab. That's gonna be the most powerful downward stab. If someone was wearing this, you're gonna be doing like this, it'll be weaker. So, let's see what happens. And a uh, YouTube, um, viewer telling me to get one of these to test out. So let's see what it does. Oh man. You can barely feel the point on the other side. It, it's when I move the uh, thing, it, um, it pulled out. It, it's, it's barely, you can barely feel it. It's, I don't even think it's really poking through. I can't feel it. So a pointy point tool does not work. Uh, which with, is, with uh, the um, res resistance that I got, I'm a little bit uh, concerned about this leaf spring lock or ladder lock. So um, let's see. Oh! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! The ice pick didn't do crap, but look at that. And you, you didn't go very hard on that. Yeah. I don't think you went very hard. Yeah, well, I think that proves enough that this is good. Uh, I, I want to save room on this thing. But let's try the Americanized Tanto from Cold Steel. Um, and, like, you're right, I didn't go hard because it's like, this is rigid and I have a liner lock, which I, I feel safe with liner locks on organic medium, but with that ice pick, that was a pretty solid stop. So let's try. Wow. I'm gonna take a screenshot of what this is rated for because it definitely says slashes and I think it says stabs. But that's Americanized Tano. So if that's gonna work, I probably should have saved that for last. I think we can be safe and say that the traditional Tanto is gonna work. <laughs> Uh, I just had a nos for a moment. That just buried in there. Um, do you have a knife you want to try on this? Yeah, I want to do something that's uh, not known for piercing. And, you know, like if this Emerson commander can get through it, I mean, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You, want to, you want to do it? Or you yeah, want I want to do it. it. Okay. All right, so we got the Emerson commander. Oh, well, and uh, that was not very hard. So, not UK rated. Yeah, so, um, you know, and again, Austin is right. This is like the worst case scenario. That's someone laying on the ground and then someone on top having all the force of gravity. But, I mean, if you look at these tips, that's a complete difference. You know, like, I would, B, 
be a little less forgiving if it just did this and it stopped this, but both work. And honestly, I want to try the ice pick real quick if that's okay, Austin. Yeah, use your man muscles. By the way, this dude right here can do a one arm pull up. But to me, it's just, you know, how could a commander do that, but an ice pick not do it? I, I, I don't understand that. Well, that ice pick is a, has a good bit of circular um, uh, mass to it. Wow. And that's the crazy thing. Like if they were advertising this armor and they just had this ice pick and then it's, it does that. I'd be like, oh, that's awesome. You know, yeah. I mean, I would think hey, it works, it works. But that's, you know, that's just, that's the commander right there. Yeah. And that's the Tantos. And I believe it's the tie light. And, and when I saw Austin hit that tie light, it was just, <laughs> just like that so yeah i want to take a picture of the threat levels this is um a rated for because i could swear i could swear that they said stab resistant now um if i put this on my uh bob bag you know that might be a test for the future but yeah that's crazy have any more commentary no um yeah i'm, I'm really wanting to know what it's advertised as now So Austin and I just looked it up and this armor does advertise to be slash and stab proof and the stab did not go so well. So uh, we didn't want to do a slash test, but now we feel like we're obligated to because it failed the, fail, uh, the, the stab test. So I'm gonna use the Yakote right here. It didn't go through. Yeah, so it did not go through. It went pretty deep. Um, I would be interested in something like the XL Espada because it's so thin. Um, I think I'm the only one with the plain edge Saber Grind Espada right now. I, I, I do, but I have one, but it's the really nice one. Yeah. Oh, I, wait, wait, do you have that now? No. Yeah, I have it. Uh, so I don't want to use the hollow grind one because the Saber Grind Espada. Stronger. It, well, it's stronger and it, it slashed better than any uh, on the cardboard test better than anything, but uh, it did, you know, that, that was slash resistant. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do have to give props to the Cold Steel uh, Magnum Tanto 2 because it was a pretty good slash, even though it didn't go all the way through. But, um, yeah. all right, the next knife that we want to try with the slash test is going to be the Cold Steel Vaquero with Tom Beth style uh, serrations. And uh, we're going to see if that hump, along with the Tom Beth style serrations, if it will get through uh, the slash uh, resistant vest. It don't look like it went through as much. It looks like heft is gonna help. Yeah, so that Tanto has a lot of weight to it. And length. And um, so it didn't go as well. Thank you for watching.